Hello and welcome to another advanced skill video. In this video, we are gonna look uh, closer into the uh, auto lip sync uh, feature. Uh, now, if you're new to the auto lip sync function, I suggest first checking out uh, video demonstration 41, as this covers the basic of the lip sync. This video will cover some of the additional newly added uh, features. So. Let's go ahead and open the tool. And we'll bring in one of the demo characters. And then through the selector tool under the end menu, we can open the uh, auto lip sync window. And what's newly added here is the advanced options. So here we'll find some values where we can set the amount of time for each phoneme to uh, fade in and fade out. And also what we have here is a function called import example voice. Now this can be particularly useful if you are finding that you are having troubles using the auto lip sync function and you want to confirm that your character is working and that the tool is working using a example voice. So we'll go ahead and hit import example voice. Now we can see on the timeline that has bring, brought in a sound clip and also the corresponding text has been filled out. Conscious of its spiritual and moral heritage. And as you can hear, the, the sound has a distinct uh, quality to it and that has to do with this voice has been generated using a uh, AI more specifically. It's been using the IBM Watson AI. And the second button here is a link that will open the website that allows you to input any text and have that generated using IBM Watson Text-to-Speech AI. Once we arrived on this website, we can hit View Demo. And that brings up the interface where you can type in any text. You can see that the example voice used in the auto lip sync tool is the standard text used in the IBM Watson tool by default. And here you can go ahead and input any text you want and use the AI to generate a MP3 sound file. Another thing that is new in here now is that you can enable MP3. So if you download an MP3 sound file by hitting enable MP3, that allows you then to drag and drop MP3 straight into Maya. So let's go ahead and uh, test the auto lip sync tool by hitting the run auto lip sync button. And here is the result. Conscious of its spiritual and moral heritage, the union is founded on the indivisible, universal values of human dignity, freedom, equality, and solidarity. It is based on the principles of democracy and the rule of law. It places the individual at the heart of its activities by establishing the citizenship of the union and by creating an area of freedom, security, and justice. And to add some more useful tips to this video, we'll go ahead and export this talking character from Maya into Unreal. And to do that, we'll go ahead and open the face section. And we'll go to the simplify face setup. There's a button here called convert face setup. If you click the help button, it explains that the standard face setup that we have in Maya when we build the advanced skeleton face setup is using rather complex deformer where it's using several layers of deformations that all come together using a blend shape node now complex setups like this cannot be directly exported to game engines which is why we need to run the convert face setup to m convert this setup into a game engine friendly setup so let's go ahead and run this function And once the face setup conversion is complete, we'll go ahead and open a newly added section here called export. And then we'll hit the FBX export. Now the FBX export button, what it basically does, it selects these two groups. First one being deformation system. This is the basic joint chain that holds all the binding joints. And then the geometry group that holds all the geometry. So FB at the export selects those and it also makes sure we are on the FBX format for the export. We'll save that on our desktop for now, call it test. And 
then we'll also keep the animation checkbox to be on, bake animation to be on, and that's got our frame range already filled in. Also make sure we have deform model skins and blend chips checked. And then we hit export selection. So now that this has been exported, let's go ahead and start up Unreal. And we'll go ahead and make a new project. I'm just going to call this test and we'll use the blueprint of third person, create project. Then we'll go ahead and bring in the FBX that we saved out on our desktop. I'll put that in a folder. I'll call the folder FBX. Go ahead and say import. And from the desktop, choose test FBX. Now for import options here, let's go through some of the parameters. So from the top in the mesh section, we'll make sure we do import the mesh. Uh, we import uh, the skeleton. There is advanced option under mesh. We want to turn on the morph targets here. Then we can close that advanced section. We also want to turn on the checkbox that says import animation. Now for convert scene, what I find to work best is to turn off convert scene and we'll manually set the rotation to 90 degrees on the X and that will give us a character that's standing up. Also for this character in particular, I know that he's using the standard 1 10th scale in Maya, whereas Unreal is a 1 to 1 scale, so we'll just hit a uniform scale of 10, so he'll come in the same size as the template character. And that's it, we'll hit import all. And now that he's imported, we can go ahead and uh, drag and drop him straight into the scene. And there he is, uh, standing next to our third person character. Um, we can see his mouth moving, so the lip sync is there. We just need the sound file as well. And for that, we'll just drag and drop the sound file straight into Unreal here. Now if we go in our Advanced Skeleton folder under Div Sounds, there's the example voice, which we can drag and drop into Unreal. And then we'll select our imported FBX and just hit add component audio. And here we'll drag and drop in the example voice. And then we'll hit play. Conscious of its spiritual and moral heritage, the union is founded on the indivisible, universal values of human dignity. And actually what we'll do here, we'll go ahead and swap out our third person character with our talking character. So. I'll quickly remove the character I dropped in and then select the main third person character here and where it says uh, to use the SK mannequin, we just swap it over to our test. And where it says use animation blueprint, we says use the animation asset and the animation for our from our lip sync. And then we'll go ahead and hit play. Conscious of its spiritual and moral heritage, the union is founded on the indivisible universal values of human dignity, freedom, equality, and solidarity. It is based on the principles of democracy and the rule of law. So basically just showing that uh, advanced skeleton characters uh, with uh, facial animation and lipstick can be imported here via FBX into Unreal. Uh, that's it for this demonstration. I hope you have enjoyed this and I'll see you next time.